Guys, what I found and what I'm going to show you all in this video are many structures around Clavius Crater and I'll show you the tunnels at the back of Clavius Crater communicating the surrounding um, anomalies. I can't, I can't call them craters. They, don't, they are not craters. They're structures. Help you orient yourselves. We're going to pan up here in this nice clear pan up to Tycho Crater, which is the most prominent one on the bottom of the moon you will recognize. And to the left, you will see Clavius Crater. And just wait and see what we found. The coordinates you are seeing in red on the bottom right of your screen is just a reference as coordinates to Tycho Crater. To the north side of Clavius Crater and on the floor where you see the smaller craters is where the two massive entrances are hiding. Clavius Crater, the crater NASA did not want to put on the map until not so long ago. Why did this happen? Why were there changes um, to the crater? What happened? The surface was smoothed out of the crater because when the impacts hit, they said that afterwards, many years afterwards, there was a change to the surface of the crater. This is a magnificent, interesting crater with several impacts that go from large to small on the surface floor of the crater. So we are looking at the Clavius tunnels. At the back north side of the crater, we can see tunnels leading to the next crater. I can clearly see two entrances at the end of Clavius crater. And there are also two entrances or three entrances on the other anomalies that are in the center of the crater. Look to the northwest of the crater, Clavius. What there is at the back is astonishing. More geometrical shapes and this curious bunker-like hangar beside Clavius Crater. Well, Clavius Crater is not the only smooth surface. Look at this surface at the back with the connecting tunnel, bridge, or corridor. It's very apparent. We can see here, but I'll show you in better slow motion and close up and clarity in a few minutes the tunnels at the back of Clavius Crater, they have a cover over them. They're covered with uh, moon dust, if you want. You can see it's laid over these two tunnels that are going in two different directions, one nearby and one to the adjacent 
crater or rock. Another magnificent find, and just before 2017. Look, behind Clavius Crater, the communicating craters, look at the structures, geometrical shapes, and corridors, walls, flat surfaces again. Take a good look at this pan. So a big part of 2017 research and exposing the surface of the moon will be to show all these structures and communicating structures. Doesn't John Leonard Walson have a good uh, collection of pipes and structures? I don't know if he has any structures, but I know that he has some nice viewing of the closed surface with his pipes, etc. So, you know, more people are doing this and, and finding these uh, uh, anomalies, but this is more than just an anomaly. We'll be viewing uh, this week the structures and how everything is set up on the ground level around Clavius Crater, between Clavius Crater and Tycho Crater, in the southern highlands, rugged terrain, 